This is why some of the rivers are going to have problems. You see two, three, four, even five inches of rain in these cities. It's area wide. It's everybody from Rochester to Plymouth here in South Bend up into Benton Harbor and over toward Elkhart and LaGrange as well. Well, just to put it into perspective, we were out the night before. Uh, we saw the water coming up. We saw the forecasts, um, but they were nowhere near where it ended up. Um, the 15.1 was the previous record in our town, and it went to 17.33, so we're two and a half foot over flood stage. I was actually working on a home improvement project. I came into town to get some sandpaper at the hardware store and ran into uh, one of the locals here, and he's like, you gotta drive across the river and see what they're doing. Like, they're yanking trailers out of the trailer park. And I'm thinking, like, how do you just yank a mobile home out while he was talking about the RV park? There was no time, no time. And the water was already rising on the old section of the park. Um, the current was already inside the park as we were evacuating. We walked out of our house with a duffel bag of clothes for our daughter, a backpack of clothes for my husband and I, my service dog, and two cats. And we were out of our home for 18 days. So Tuesday, uh, when we left, we thought we were in good shape. There was no water crossing 2nd Street, you know, headed towards the building yet. And it was midnight. And at uh, 4.30 a.m., my dad was heading to work and he called me and he said, you gotta get to your shop now. And he said, you're in trouble. And I'm like, well, that's not good. So I tried to get to the shop, couldn't get there. Went around 3rd Street. Water was all the way to 3rd Street. Uh, the next street over, so it was it was a solid you know three foot eight inches of water throughout front to back in the entire shop. And after the storm, I run and run as the rains come, and I look up, I look up on my knees, and out of luck I look up. Once. The, the original emergency had kind of like subsided and the shelter was running and stuff and it's like okay so what's next? Um, so United Way kind of gathered the meeting of the minds, all the different agencies in, in southwest Michigan that can help anybody. Um, it's like okay what do you have, what do you need and just tried to pair people up. And then we had we hosted a community cleanup for uh, Saturday and Sunday. I had no idea how many people were going to show up. I mean, it could have been a dozen, maybe 50, maybe 100 if we were lucky. And I think over the Saturday and Sunday, we had like 300 volunteers show up. And I mean, not Berrien Springs people, it was like Berrien County people, just all converging, saying, how can we help? We want to love on these people. Safety is important. Kindness and compassion is equally as important. Safety first. And I took you by the hand And we stood tall And remembered our own land What we live for uh, Full-time staff is, is designed for day-to-day -day, and we can't, a lot of times, we don't have enough staff to provide for these special type events. So without community volunteers, uh, things just don't happen. I wish we would have recorded the day that the volunteers showed up because they came walking down the entrance like an entire army. There, there were hundreds of people. Uh, there's still a lot of businesses that aren't going to reopen um, because of this flood and there's a lot of houses that aren't, aren't going to be repaired because of this flood. Uh, I could have been one of them. We had so many people step up and help that you know it gives me chills just, <laughs> just talking about it. It was amazing to see how much compassion that was given to the residents as they were sifting through their belongings. I literally had like seven people just wrap me in a giant hug and let me cry. I don't know that I would have then been able to get up the next morning and do the same thing that I had been doing, saying, okay, you know what, it's just stuff. We'll rebuild, I need to help get my neighbors home. Tragedy often strikes people with not a whole lot of means to begin with, and, and a lot of these people didn't have much to begin with. Just um, showing them that there are other people out there that care in tangible ways, like let us help you carry your wet stuff out. Let us help you sort through stuff. It's, it's easy to write a check and mail it, and, and I mean that's all necessary and appreciated too, but showing up and putting on a pair of gloves is a pretty tangible uh, show of support for people.
There will come a time you'll see With no more tears and love will not break your heart But dismiss your fears, get over your hill and see What you find there with grace in your heart And flowers in your head Thank you.